racing has come to the prairie. Appropriately, the track is called Sundance Speedway. Once an airfield, it has become, in the brief span, one of the important car racing centers of Canada. The number one car is George Chapman's Lotus. It's a lucky number for Chapman. Streamlined racing beauties and the symbolic checkered flag. Finishing comfortably in front of the tough competition, George Chapman wins the Players' Prairie Trophy. And as tradition demands, drives in triumph through the crowd with the signal of his victory flying hot. Hi there. Uh, my name is George Chapman. And uh, this is a, a photograph of uh, my Lotus 23, with which I won the Canadian Championship in 1966. It's been totally restored and rebuilt. And this picture was of me sitting in the car was taken a few years ago, quite a few years after I won the championship. Uh, the picture up at the top is uh, out of a Road and Track magazine. And of course, this is the steering wheel from the car itself. When I, when I sold the car, I decided that I wanted to keep a souvenir and uh, so I took the steering wheel off and put an aftermarket steering wheel on for the gentleman that bought it. I have a picture here that was uh, done for me by a fellow who served as a pit crew for me. He uh, worked with, fo followed me around to the various races and we worked together and he uh, eventually became uh, an artist and uh, that was the, the result of his efforts. A uh, little something for, for me uh, in appreciation for my winning this championship and for the friendship that we developed over the years. Uh, this is a, a little uh, a presentation that I received uh, when I was inducted into the Manitoba Motorsport uh, Hall of Fame. I, uh, it's, I was very pleased to get the recognition from that, from that group. I was also inducted into the uh, Canadian Motorsport Hall of Fame it was back about 1994. I've got a picture here that was uh, presented to me uh, quite a few years ago. I was the national president of the governing body of motorsport for Canada. Uh, for a period of uh, six years and uh, this was given to me in appreciation of some of the work that I had done for the organization. The top Canadian contenders battled it out over a series of 12 races in four regions of the country. Neck and neck for Canadian championship honors are Harold Brown and George Chapman. With the control jockeying done, the race is flagged on its way. An added incentive in drawing the world-renowned racing greats to San Jovite is the newly established Can-Am series. The six-race series is the richest ever devised on the North American continent. The total prize money, over a quarter of a million dollars. Ready for the start, to fortune and fame, or fury and frustration. 